side. Chance here for Simon Byrne. Loose ball wasn't gathered. The free kick wasn't paid either. Foster lays it off to Phillips. He's met heavily. Byrne comes through late. Hand pass more in hope than anything. Bianchi tackled. The pressure immense. Loose ball gathered by Kennedy. 20 metres out. Draws the player. Well, it's it for Modra. Soccer and goal. His first. And West Adelaide kick their third. 3-1 plays 4-1. Well, it doesn't matter how you get that ball going. Just keep it rolling along. Look at him go in hard. Simon Byrne in there. Flicks the handball out for Archie. It's a hot potato. The tackle was good by Mellor. Restricted the arm use, but then the advantage was paid. Kennedy over the top. Looked like it had gone a touch far, but it sat nicely for Modro. Didn't worry about the hands. Just get it onto the boot. That's his first. And they get a bit closer. Coach, Port Adelaide power. And Hughes got hit high. Kennedy with pace, burns through centre wing, kicks long, up towards the full forward, Modra over the top! Oh, what a big leap, but he left the football behind. Fitzsimmons at the bottom of the pack, and the umpire will come in and bounce. Interesting, David. I think the centre-line players of West are already emerging as being possible winners. Carlson and uh, Kennedy on the, uh, on the wings, and Simpson in the middle picking up. we got a lot of touches. And Tony Modra quite noticeably loosening up at full forward from Schumann. Now, here's a chance for Banfield. He's got some space. Hutton bears down. Banfield needs support. Gets it in the form of Carlson. Darren Carlson pulls it back off the left boot. Phillips lost his balance. He's under pressure in defence. Chance there for Modra. Snap around the body. What a goal! Tony Modra, his second. In the same motion. 5-2-32 West Adelaide, Port Adelaide 4-1-25. Well, a seven-point lead to West Adelaide now set up. You see Carlson after strong work by West across the centre. Phillips couldn't hang on. Patterson sweats on him, puts the tackle on, trapped there by the foot firstly by Modra, picks it up around the corner, hardly had time to have a look. What a great goal. The Bloods lead by seven points. Five minutes into the sec, Micken. Through comes Carlson to centre field. Now Fitzsimmons needs to sit. Great shepherding by Kennedy. Fitzsimmons sets up McKinnon. Outside 50. And the foot pass superb to Tony Modler. And he's brought back for 52, Robo. Well, so it should be. That's silly stuff from an experienced player in Delaney. Have a look. Good mark, Modler. It's all over. Big shove to the ground. Absolutely unnecessary. Jack Cale would not be pleased. John, frustration keep creeping into the Port Adelaide defence. So Modra. He's kicked to his third kick coming up. Point blank range, and he puts it through. So Modra plus Mellor have been the killers for Port Adelaide in attack. And Delaney and Modri talk off the ball. And the Bloods move to 8 2 50. Port Adelaide 4 1 25. There we see the ball coming in. Fitzsimmons has the supporting play in Robbie McKinnon. Time to have a quick look. Sees the charging Modra. Takes it in front of the eyes. Frustration, as Ian Day suggested, from the Port defence this time, Delaney. That meant 50 metres, and it's through for another goal. Well, what did we play? 12 and a half minutes in this term. West Burn can't catch him. They grab a one up to the bullion Kennedy. He's at centre wing, goes in short. Fitzsimmons clear. He can kick in long, looking to set up the player on the lead. Now it's Modra this time. Oh, big mark. Huge mark to the West Adelaide full forward, and they have got several options up there, John Robinson. They certainly have, and Tony Modra reminds me a lot of a former West Adelaide full forward in Roger Luders, particularly with that type of marking out in front, a strong leap, strong hands. He's got three goals already, so they've got several forwards. They've got all sorts of options for kicking goals. The man from Renmark puts it straight through the middle. He boots his fourth. West Adelaide go on their merry way in the elimination final, 12-4-76 to Port Adelaide's 5-2-32. As we've just suggested, they have plenty of options. The brilliant Kennedy out on his centre wing. He's done great things. Fitzsimmons has played well also. He sets sail and places it beautifully for the charging Modra. Look at that. Strong grab. One grab, and that's the way to do it as he kicks on that southern goal and pops through his fourth. Just imagine if Fitzsimmons... ...about Hock, but kicks long. A long kick towards the half four line. Patterson's there with Phillips. Loose ball. Mellor's going to be the Banfield. Oh, well done. Showed a lot of courage. Gets the ball back to Fitzsimmons. Out comes Modra! What a pass. Fitzsimmons to Modra. 
no one in this wide world could have cut off that pass and the West Adelaide full forward has got a chance from 35 metres out. Oh, absolutely brilliant but what about the courage and determination of Peter Banfield to set Fitzsimmons up in the first place? Tony Modra cool under pressure the umpire does not move a muscle except to indicate that goal number five is on the board to Modra and West Adelaide are 14-6 to Port Adelaide 6-4. Well five to Modra five to Mellor Shane Fitzsimmons and a couple of other players have picked him up around there as well but what a great effort look at Banfield knows the players coming rides the bunt keeps the ball crooked under the arm gets it out to Fitzsimmons just look at the pass stabbed it brilliantly to the fast leading Modra and he's gone back and popped it through for his fifth boundary throw in grandstand center win Kennedy spiral punt kick and uh, it falls fortuitously to Shane Fitzsimmons his seventh mark Lee provided by Modra, beautiful pass, and Modra takes and takes it gratefully inside 50. One of the highlights of this game, and has come from the West Adelaide side, has been their ability to use the ball short and place it right for players, as we just saw Fitzsimmons do. We've seen Kennedy and several other players using the ball very effectively over short distances on a lot of occasions, and that's good to see. Modra kicks from right on 50. He times it pretty well against the breeze had the carry but uh, the accuracy a problem so the bloods moved to 16 9 105 port adelaide also again kick number 11 defensive side of center wing and he finds mckinnon two players that uh, combined to win the bloods last premiership back in 1983 carlson foot pass into the pocket lace out it finds tony Monta. One of the highlights of the effort from West Adelaide, not only have they been strong around the centre of the ground, but they've used the ball very effectively. Five goals from Modra, and what a shot from the pocket from Tony Modra! That is the goal of the day. Number six for Modra. Tied on the angle, the death pocket here at Footy Park. West Adelaide moves to 2011, Port Adelaide 8-7. John, it almost appeared as though that he put that up for grabs, that he's only kicking to the... Uh, to the square but he's kicked a marvelous goal we'll have a look at the kicking from Carlson to start but I mean that's a marvelous pass for a start but Modri goes back there's the 50 meter line that's where he kicks from he pops it underway and have a look at it just bends back beautifully unfortunately the outstretched hand of Brazonico couldn't quite make it. go for a run he'll go in short now to Banfield once more I don't know who's on that fellow but they want to, don't want to know him Linda will get the set oh! He's up there, couldn't quite bring it down. Play on is the call. Soccer off the ground, and that's another one. Modra boots his seventh, and West Adelaide go from strength to strength. 23 goals, 11 to 8 7 in the mothball semi final. Well, there's an infectious enthusiasm about them at the moment. Linda went up, Grosser overran it, Modra had one soccer, then another one, then third time lucky. It got into the air a little bit and he slammed it through. And that's goal number seven. What a fine effort from the young man at full forward. But West Adelaide, 23 goals, 11. To Port Adelaide, eight goals, seven. They've absolutely ran away. Well, Port Adelaide's highest. Carlson, in fact, he's been one of the better players for West Adelaide. From centre half forward, long kick, 60 metre kick. Motra, he's got seven. This will be eight. And he almost arrogantly bodied out the Magpie defenders. Yes, there was a bit of pushing and shoving going in the pack, but good judgment as he put the hands up there. But it's play on now. And he threads it through. Goal number eight. Six marks to Tony Modra. And West Adelaide back to a 94-point lead. Well, what a performance by the young man. He kicked one in the first, three in the second, one in the third, and now three in the fourth as Carlson puts in the long bomb. Bit of pushing and shoving going in there, in fact, quite a bit. But Modra with strength. Then the attempt to play on, scooted around players and snapped it in truly. Eight goals, what an effort. Couldn't agree more. In fact, it's been a good effort by West Adelaide.